stand again, please. What's the extent of your contract with Sable Trails from the beginning? Do, do you have a subcontract to his contract? As far as I know, yes, sir, we do. That we're uh, part of the uh, Sable Trail team that we did the wetland delineation of listed species and cultural resource surveys in the state of Florida and are assisting with the ERP application through permit issues. Uh, again, uh, if, I, if I can't hear you, I've got the court reporter to you. I see she's shaking her head now. We need to have a record of your testimony. Uh, We're part of the team that was contracted to complete wetland delineations, listed species surveys, and cultural resource surveys in Florida, and also assist with obtaining the ERP application, uh, and we're under contract through issuance of the ERP. And when you say we, who are you referring to? Cardno and Inc. So if Cardno Inc. has the contract with Sable Trail yes. LLC? Yes. And are you subcontracted by Cardinal or is that your company? That's my employer. All right, so it's a regular employment for you? Yes. So you here, um, all right, thank you. Now you said that the plans were changed with regard to the Winklehoochee because of construction and avoidance. What kind of construction? What do you mean by construction? I, the subject matter experts reviewed the route of the pipe project <coughs> and came back with a recommendation and we dropped the Whitford Gucci and reroute the project. Okay, did you know what that recommendation was based on? No, sir. Was that part of 
the amendments when you submitted amended plans to DEP? Did you? Was it just change of plan require you to do additional work? Yes, sir. Were you ever asked to explain prior to today what that decision was based on? No. Just took it on face value? Uh, we routinely change the route of a project. Uh, when we change the route, we provide uh, details on why we changed the route and justification for why the new route is appropriate. Okay. Uh, could you share with us some of those details? In, in, in what manner, sir? Uh, well, uh, was the specifications for the with Lahoochee route based on um, a survey or lighter? Uh, I don't know. How about the rerouting? Is that based on a survey or lighter? Uh, I don't know. Who would know? I would assume our construction uh, experts and uh, uh, the individuals were charged with <coughs> uh, designing and routing the pipe. So when you say our construction experts, you're referring to Cardinal employees? No, sir. I'm referring to other subject matter experts employed either by Spectra or subcontractors. Subcontracted by? by Staple Trail Transmission. <laughs> but not you. you know. <coughs> no, sir. Do you know if LIDAR was used in any of the uh, planning? I believe LIDAR was used in some cases. Do you know why it would be used in some places and not others? Depends on the, I would assume it depends on the accuracy of the LIDAR data. You probably need to explain LIDAR, what LIDAR is, and there's several questions about it. Yes, sir. Could you please explain what LIDAR is? My knowledge of LIDAR is that it's a survey technique where they fly an airplane over and it collects data and collects uh, specifically elevations uh, depending on how accurate the uh, uh, flights are, it can be within uh, several inches and usually it's ground truth by typical survey methods later on. Right, what, what would be a comparative method? In other words, when, where LIDAR isn't used, what is used for that uh, information? True survey, where they would do on the ground survey and collect survey elevation. As a project manager, which do you prefer, if any? Well, I don't have a preference as long as it's provides the detailed information that we need. Do you, uh, based on your uh, prior experience, you know if either is uh, more sophisticated or accurate than the other? Jack, in your honor, you just testified he didn't have a preference. Slightly different question. I'll allow the answer, if he knows. Uh, I would say that in if it's a heavily wooded uh, property, uh, ground truth thing would be a typical ground survey would provide a higher degree of accuracy. If it's relatively open, uh, LIDAR can be as accurate as ground survey. All right. Thank you for that. Would it be correct to say that the planned route for the pipeline through, let's say, Hamilton, Suwannee counties, uh, vary between open and wooded? Yes, sir. Any one more than the other? Either one more than the other? No, sir. Do you know if the uh, information provided by yourself and Cardinal to uh, for the environmental resource permit is up to date? Uh, Your Honor, maybe we can know what up to date means. Is it complete? It's complete on the route as of uh, May 1st, 2015. Any other routes been um, altered besides the with Lahoochee to Sawani? Yes, sir. There have been multiple routes, uh, including Davenport Creek Swamp and Green's Creek, or Green Swamp, I apologize, Green Swamp. I'm sorry, could you? Da Davenport Creek Swamp was one reroute, uh, Green Swamp was another reroute, and then there's literally dozens of smaller uh, adjustments or reroutes. Right. Um, did 
Did you say literally dozens? Yes, sir. So that would mean, um, would it be correct to say that in some are um, more significant than others? Yes, sir. With regard to uh, mitigation, does uh, your contribution to the mitigation include uh, wetland surveys and permitting? Yes. Does it include uh, oversight of uh, uh, various forms of life, species? Uh, I did not directly uh, supervise the listed species surveys or the listed species studies. I heard you say you didn't provide listed species surveys. I, I, I did not oversee them. Cardinal provided listed species surveys and uh, handled the negotiation. There were other subject matter experts that handled that. We just utilized the information provided in the application. All right, so then what was the extent of the, I didn't quite catch it from the, uh, I, my apology, I thought from the direct examination that you provided more to the permitting process. So if, if you will, what did you provide to the permitting process? Uh, I took information that was provided, whether it was uh, wetland impact information, route information, uh, uh, in various reports, and went through uh, the ERP application and prepared the detailed responses based on that. And then I ran uh, the calculation of the impacts to determine how much mitigation was required. So was all of your determinations based on other persons' research? Uh, yes. Did you visit the property physically? Uh, Check, Your Honor, which property? Clarify the question. <coughs> Did you visit the proposed uh, pipeline trail in Suwannee County? No, sir. Did you visit it in Hamilton County? No, sir. Did you visit it in Hillcrest County? No, sir. Right, I have nothing for everyone. Are you ready? Just one, Mr. Dixon, I'm going to show you what is, and I'm going to struggle with the actual reference, but it's the first page to the actual uh, consolidated notice of intent. And uh, I've taken the liberty of putting a little yellow sticky on here to highlight a particular provision of the consolidated notice of intent, which I would gladly show to opposing counsel that I can't reach him. <laughs> I'll try to explain what it is. I'll take it to him. Don't argue it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, counsel. Once you have a chance to look at that, I'd like to use that to show to the witness, please. Mr. Dixon, on cross-examination, you testified that the Hunter Creek line is a 24-inch diameter. Would you look at the provision that I've highlighted on that consolidated notice of intent, of intent and tell me what it says about the diameter of the Hunter's Creek pipeline, please? It says it's a 36-inch diameter. Nothing further, Your Honor. Thanks, sir. Thanks. Call your next witness. 